Nuclear chemistry is one of those topics that's very difficult to come up with laboratory experiences for the students, and yet it's an extremely important topic in terms of scientific literacy. So I like to use analogies, and this one, one of the participants at a Flynn summer workshop actually shared with us, and at the time we thought it was just marvelous. I've got a box of marbles here, and my hand rep represents the strong force, and these are the protons and the neutrons, and you see that eventually the decay stops because the strong force is strong enough to hold it all together, but we know that if the neutron-proton ratio is too high that we have a radioactive element. So that's a little analogy, and I thought it was brilliant. And that's it. Thank you.